Good afternoon, peeps, and welcome to another episode of Adam's Eats. How are we doing? A Merry Christmas to you. It's nearly upon us, a week away now, and it'll all be over. Um, all the build up to it, it just kind of seems like it's come around really quickly this year, but that's probably due to my work. I mean, on my day job, I just kind of railroad through Christmas. I get to the two days, and I'm just like, right, it's a really busy time for me. Um, you know, I know some of my family, they get like kind of two weeks off and you, know, you get to relax and stuff. Not in my case, not in my case at all, but I'm looking forward to the time off I've got anyway. So today I've got a nice little recipe for you and it's a Christmas drink called eggnog. Now what is it? Well essentially it's just kind of a drinkable custard, it's very popular in the States and Canada and what it is it's kind of egg yolks, sugar, lots of spices like cinnamon, clove, all kind of mixed together with milk and cream. Um, and it's sort of steeped and then you kind of make this custard really and it's absolutely delicious really easy to make yeah there's rum in there as well you don't have to put the rum in there but why would you not <laughs> like it's christmas kids won't mind so i get them in the festive spirit okay so as per usual if you hit that pause button make a list of the ingredients and we'll get right into it okay right so i've got my pan on the heat here and i've just added the milk and the double cream and then you just want to add in your spices I've got the nutmeg straight in vanilla two cinnamon sticks and a couple of cloves. Just mix that together. Okay, and you want to bring that mixture to a boil and once it gets to a boil, turn the heat off and then we're just going to leave it to steep for about five minutes. Okay, so whilst that's coming to the boil, we just take your sugar and your egg yolks. Okay, and you want to mix this together until you get a nice fluffy paste until all that sugar's kind of dissolved through the egg. Okay, until you have nice sort of thick ribbons just coming off it like that. And that is ready for the milk. That's right, so once you've brought your mixture to the boil and it's all kind of spilled over the cooker over the top, you want to remove the whole spices from what you've got left. And then you just want to decant it into a jug. Just makes for easy pouring. Look at the state of it. Okay, and then you want to start adding your milk to the egg yolk mixture, but nice and slow. Don't add it all in at once because you'll scramble the eggs. So you just add a little bit at a time. Okay, just mix it in. So that started it off, just add a bit more. Okay, and that is your base eggnog mixture done. Now you can chill this down and put it in the fridge for a good few days before you're ready to serve because the next part, also you're gonna whip up the egg whites and we need to serve that whilst it's still warm and fold those in. Um, but you can chill this down, reheat it, and then just keep your egg whites until you're ready to serve. We're not gonna do that, we're gonna do it straight away. I'm gonna serve it now. Okay, so in another clean bowl, I've got my egg whites. Uh, make sure if you're whipping your egg whites manually that you use a glass or metal bowl. If you use a plastic one, the slightest trace of fat that's in that bowl, even if you've washed it, will just destroy your egg whites. They won't rise, they won't puff up, they won't whip or do anything. So just make sure it's either glass or metal. So all you're gonna do then is you just wanna whip your egg whites until they form nice soft peaks. Okay, until you've got a mixture sort of like that, you know, so it's kind of soft peaks. You don't want it too stiff because obviously we're not making meringues. Okay, and then you just wanna fold in into your eggnog mixture. Okay, and then the final thing, your booze of choice. Slosh it in. Right, you can see I'm not measuring it out, but I kind of know roughly how much I need. Um, you're gonna want about, about 175 ml to 200 ml of booze in there. Or a bit more if you want, if you're feeling a bit adventurous. Actually, I'm feeling adventurous. And that, folks, is your eggnog done. It's fluffy, it's silky, it's just gonna be absolutely delicious. You know what, let's serve some of this up. Ooh. Right, let's give it a taste. Well, I think that was pretty easy, don't you think? I mean, I'm an idiot, I can do it, so I'm sure you can as well. It smells supremely Christmassy, let's have a try. That's so good. That's Christmas in a glass. Sounds a bit cliche, but it is. You've got the clove in there, you've got the cinnamon, the spices sort of running through it, that vanilla as well, the sweetness of the sugar, and then that hit of rum. I'll probably do with a bit more, actually. <laughs> It's like someone's just snatched Santa out of the sky, liquidised him and then just poured him in a glass. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thanks ever so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like my videos. As you can see, super, super simple recipe. If I can do it, you definitely can do it. It's great for Christmas Day, you know, when you've got family around and you're playing games and stuff. Or if you just want to drown out the noise of Auntie Judith complaining because you don't come and see her anymore, it's up to you. I will leave all my social media links in the description below, but if you look down here, you can follow me on those profiles as well. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Adios.